Hi, this is a video for creating fillable PDF documents. This would be the second video um, in creating fillable PDF documents. And uh, in the first one, we talked about how to make a text box and um, how to set up options for them. Very basic stuff. Uh, this one, we're going to create some other fields. Uh, give you some more options to do things. We're going to close this box. We're not going to use it right now. And w right now we have open our forms controls box. This is what's going to give you the options to create these uh, form items. So right now I've got from the previous video the fillable text boxes that I had before. And now we're going to look at the check box option. We're going to use that. We're going to click it and we're going to choose an area to have our checkbox. And you can see what I did was I chose an area, it put in a checkbox, and it says checkbox. Now I'm not going to want my checkbox to say checkbox, so I'm going to double click in the middle there and I can change what it's going to say, the label within that box. We're going to change it to this is a, let's make it look good. This is a cool video, and we'll close that up. And so we can rearrange the size of this. We want to make it so that you can read all the letters. So we're going to size it so it'll all fit. And we're going to make a second one. So we'll go back to our checkbox, click it. We have a indicator button uh, button here that's going to allow us to choose an area. I'm going to hold down the left click button and then let go when I've chosen an area where I want the checkbox and I let go and there's my checkbox. Now once again I'm going to click the middle of there. I'm going to change what it says right in the middle. Um, great tips already and so we want to make sure that this works but first let's see if we can line these up. Now uh, without using other tools, all we're going to do is kind of eyeball it, try to line these up so they look like they're associated with each other. And then to test this, we're going to go back to our form control box and we're going to choose design mode off. So we're going to click that. It's going to allow us to test these checkboxes. I'm going to check this off because it's a cool video and these are great tips. So great, it works. So now we're going to go back to our design mode. We're going to try a different option, which is our option button. Now, option button is very similar to your checkbox button, but uh, people like using it for different reasons. So we're going to go here and we're going to make one. Option button. I'm going to double click that because I want to change what it says in there. It brings up the dialog, allows us to change many different things, including the font that's going to show up here. But right now we're just going to deal with changing the label. So do you like ponies? So if someone does like ponies, then they can go ahead and check off that button. And um, you can test that in design mode if you like. So we're, we made a option button. We can make another one. And we have it right underneath and we can change the name of that do you like cows and so if someone likes cows they can check that off now the thing about these buttons here with the check off buttons and these option buttons is they don't have any relationship to each other uh, I can check off that I like ponies and I can check off that I like cows it's not going to make any difference I can check both of them off I can't just have one choice if there is a situation where you just want to have one choice and you have a whole different list of options, well then we're going to have to try a different um, tool here. So to get to that tool, we're going to go here in our forms control box and we're going to choose more controls. This will bring up the other box I had on previously and we're going to go down here to group box. That's what we're going to deal with right now. We'll deal with these other ones some other time. But we're going to use group box in order to create a box to have uh, choices that have a relationship with each other. So we're going to create a box. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because I'm going to have maybe like five, four or five choices. 
So now it brings up a dialog. Once I let go of the click button, it's going to ask me what names do I want to give the option field. So I'm going to start filling some out. Red, and I'm going to click this arrow button to put it within the option fields. I'm going to go um, blue, uh, white, and so on and so forth. We'll put black in there and maybe even brown. Okay, once we're done making our list, we're going to go next. And now it's asking us, should one option field be selected as default? Now what that means is, is when you first open up this PDF document, you send it to somebody or you open it up, the first thing that's going to be checked off is going to be red. Well, I don't think I want anyone to assume what color I like in particular, so I'm going to say no. No particular field is not going to be selected. So it's going to be all blank and nothing's going to be chosen until you choose. So we'll go to next and we're going to skip this part. We're just going to go next here and not worry about the value because we're not going to deal with that sort of thing right now. And everything's going to work if we don't, even if we don't fill anything out here. We're just going to leave it at one. Next. Which caption is given to your option group? Now this is the part where you're going to ask your question. So people know what are you asking here? I'm going to say what is your favorite color? Oops. Color. And um, when we hit finish, we'll be able to see our box here. It says, what is your favorite color? It has red, blue, white, black, and brown like we did. We've got buttons here. Now, you'll notice when I go to my design mode to test this, if I check one off and then I say, no, you know what? I like blue and white. I can't do that. I can only choose one option. And that is what I mean by the buttons having a relationship to each other, that you can only choose one and um, and that's your choice. Um, so unlike the do you like ponies, do you like cows, I can choose one or the other or none. In this case I can choose both because it's a cool video and it has great tips but in this one I can only choose one option. So that's how you make a box that will actually have relationships between the choices. And that was called the group box button found right here. So what we looked at was group box, we looked at option button, also called a radio button sometimes, and the check box button. In the previous video we looked at text box, which is right here next to the check box. And um, so that was it. Very basic video, but it'll get you started on creating some fun documents or documents for your business if you wanted to send some uh, inquiry PDFs out. Um, there are a lot of options you can do on this. Um, just fiddle with it a little bit. You can create all sorts of different things. In the next video we'll be dealing with more complicated items, but this will give you a good start on this um, sort of creating fillable documents. Thank you for watching this video and uh, we'll see you